project funded by the European Union. It's aimed at monitoring and gathering data about the Earth's lower thermosphere. InSight is a cube satellite. It costs between 6 and 8 million rand to produce and is one of 40 satellites that make up the QB15 international project. Said to be launched from the International Space Station within the next few months, it will gather scientific measurements about the Earth's lower and least explored layer of the atmosphere. Three different types of science sensors will be employed. The particular one that we have is called a flux probe experiment, and it measures the amount of atmospheric particles that the satellite will encounter on its way uh, down to Earth. Um, so all of this data will be collected uh, and streamed down to Earth via various ground stations. So each uh, team participating in the project, um, we're one of the 40 teams participating. Um, so each team participating would um, take the data that they collect and send it to a, uh, to a command center in Belgium, where it, all the data gets uh, archived and processed. The satellite was built in South Africa and showcases the country's space technology. We are constantly developing new technology that can be used in satellites in, uh, in space. Um, so it proves that South Africa has the capability to do that, has the energy and the people to do it, has the facilities to do it, um, basically on par and better than, than international uh, companies. Uh, for, the, for the South African uh, um, government and taxpayer, um, this introduces the option to, to actually sell these products into the national market and in that way contribute to the to the tax and the, in, uh, the import income that the country is getting. It took about two months to assemble the unit. Some parts were sourced from industry players, but many components were produced locally by engineers working on the project. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.